Nisashali Nati, Apa Ku Homegrown, where we bring you guys nothing but the best of e local entertainment. And right about now, we do exactly that because we profile the best artists in the Koyalana Mzans. And of course, in Cape Town as a whole. And the gentleman sitting here right next to me is a man that does that. He goes by the name of Wali. And he's a hip hop artist based up at Kappa. And he's here to share his music journey with us. Astolele, the EP that he's released, and the music videos that are going to be coming up. So I'm super excited for that conversation. Wali, thank you. Thank you for coming to studio, Unjani. Um, I'm good. Thank you very much for having me. Are you feeling good? Um, yeah. Uh, it's very cold, it but is. For, for the occasion, <laughs> I'm feeling like, yeah, like I'm on fire. Mm -hmm. Basically, like I feel like, yeah. Listen, I'm so Ewan, I know we are very happy that you're here with you, um, you're here with us today, and thank you so much for making time to join us up here, student. I'm challenging. So you are not um to engage kalanga e camera ne lights and all those things because you've been part of so many competitions throughout in music journey. Ago, take us through the first competition that you did. How did it even come about? About best in Um, the first competition I did was about close to 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, it was on another show. Um, on another station, I don't think I can say it. <laughs> you can, I, I mean. can, okay. Yeah. Um, so it was on Hectic 99, yeah. it was the first um, competition I did. Um, and I finished second on that competition. That's like, great. Out of, I think they chose a final eight that was on the live shows. Yeah. So yeah, I finished second in that. Um, and then I was at Back to the City the following year. Mm -hmm. It's the biggest hip hop festival in Africa. Um, so yeah, I was performing there. I was also competing there, part of the 10K challenge, and I have this like Ali Shaman, no, the second place, oh, because it was another second place finish. Yeah, and I like to lose to ladies. To ladies, oh, you never get to the one fire. <laughs> yeah, no. but I'm sure there's so much that you learned, man, from being with a competition as that you're able to use even now in your uh, music journey as you progress and through How did you get into music? Has it always been something that you knew? But okay, this is a space that I want to find myself in. Um, how I got into music, um, it was something I think it was spiritual, it's something that just it just happened. I didn't plan it, yeah, but I, I was uh, uh a huge hip hop head. I used to like to listen to Eminem, Kakul, yeah, bo. And then um, one day I just decided, bah, you know what? Let me just try this. Yeah. And I just started writing, and um, I think it was after maybe two years where I started recording. Mm -hmm. I was still in high school when I started writing, but I didn't record anything up until I finished with e e school. Yeah. Mm. So Mkulo Wenzayo, it's trap, high hip hop. You know, you do say when you get inspiration from Eminem or Eminem and the likes. Is it that is that your sound that you've um, adopted? Um, my 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 sound. Um, it's a balance of the old and the new. It's kind of grimy, kind of hardcore, okay. but a bit trappish at the same time. And then for uh, my content, my lyrical content, I am someone that is very introspective. Mm. Like uh, I like to 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 share my view of the world. Yeah. yeah. Um, through my lyrics and through my sound and all of that, like mm. I'm someone who just wants to broaden e e e vision mm. and let them see the world the way that I see it. Yeah. And, yeah. Now take us through your much anticipated EP and Take us through that. Who did you work on? How did it come about? And how has it been working on Klai EP? Um, so the Yin Yang uh, basically um, had the idea like two years ago. Yeah. yeah because as the artist, ne, we go through so many struggles. Mm. Yeah, bo. Like, there's so many things I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Bo. I needed to be registered. I needed to be that. I didn't do those things. I only did them later. Yeah, mm. bo. So um, that's how the yin yang came about. It was like, it's basically a representation of it good and bad. The good side of things and the bad side of things. And finding a balance in, 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 in that. Yeah, bo. U, u, ube, ube be neutral yeah, okay. we, and then you shape your life the way that you want using mm. Yeah, mm. Yin and yang. sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad but you just got to go with the flow yeah, so that's how I came up with the idea okay. I was like yeah let me share the good and the bad of yeah. doing yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, so yeah. it gives it, it gives e in Goma Zaka would assume within then give context you know to um, the experiences and the challenges that you say yeah. what would you say Bana, as an artist this was your biggest challenge you know you are Bana, okay, rough and how did you overcome it, obviously? Um, so, hey, 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think um, one one of my 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 biggest struggles yeah. was Ekalin was getting the cash in. Mm. Yeah, as I said, I wasn't registered. I wasn't familiar with those things. Yeah, I do radio interviews and all of that, but I didn't. I wasn't clued up. I was still a teenager at that time. Mm. Yeah. So um, I think that was the struggle for me, um, getting getting the money back that I'm putting in. Yeah. But as Iskata Sehamba, I grew with that and. Now I know, okay, this is what I need to do. This yeah. is what I need to do. And um, yeah, that's how I, I basically, that's how I put together this project. It's mm-hmm. a project that I want to take for. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how I approached it. I worked with um, good friends of mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's Andy Le, he's in Chobuk. Andy Le Ping, where he goes by U Choose. Mm-hmm. Um, there's Max, I'll be performing with him yeah. um, on the show. Um, there's RT also. And Gabriel, I just want to say, but now RT all up as studio as well, taking behind the scenes. Like, so I think it's very important to have a band that also support your good music journey. You know, just to keep you pushing as well, and also seeing a progress. You know, in Golden Rock and the things that you do, because I know that you're going to be shooting in music videos soon. So you have a lot of exciting content that's coming up for Abantu Mabugule and Makai, and people that want to follow in music journey. Where can they find your Paco social media? Um, on social media, I'm on um, Twitter. Um, at Wali underscore CPT, I think it's going to be on the screen. Yeah. Um, Facebook is the personal account is Wali Z A, and my page is Wali S A. Um, Instagram Wali underscore CPT. And then where um, we can we stream it? Um, on all major digital digital platforms, mm-hmm. Spotify, SoundCloud. Whatever you you yeah, into, yeah, it's yeah, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it from Uwali himself. Please make sure you support the gents in your stream. Umkolowake, check him out on social media and do make sure you stay put. He has amazing music videos that are going to be coming through Kulonyaka and, of course, into next year. But for now, we have more music for you guys.